Big mess, a big cleanup, all underway this morning in Lawrenceville, where a water main break flooded streets and businesses nearby. People living in that area also say they've got no water right now. Lindsay Ward joins us now live with an update on repairs and what they're telling her about how long. Lindsay? Rick, good morning. Here on Butler Street, it's also causing some troubles for drivers, and that's because of this closure here behind me. We've seen some Port Authority, uh, Port Authority buses, that is, trucks, even school buses, having to stop and try to find another detour. It's some of the side streets here in Lawrenceville because of uh, Butler Street being closed here with those repairs happening. Now, a 20 inch water main break happened around 4 30 yesterday afternoon. Uh, it happened on Butler Street near Main Street. More than 30 buildings have been impacted by it at this time. Customers between 39th Street and 42nd Street on Butler still have no water. KDKA has learned from the PWSA service has been restored for those on 42nd Street between Butler and Foster Streets. Besides some homeowners in Lawrenceville, businesses are struggling with this water main break as well. Beerport here on Butler was forced to cancel a planned event for last night. Not only does this uh, mean a money loss for them, but they may be dealing with some water damage inside their building as well. We realized it was coming from underneath the wall, so we did some investigating and found out that uh, there was water coming in through our neighbor's basement, underneath the walls in the art store. All right, again, now a lot of traffic troubles here on Butler Street in Lawrenceville. Best advice for you right now is if you can avoid this section of Butler Street, you probably might want to do that this morning. We reached out to the PWSA to find out when this road will reopen. We have not heard back, but when we do, we will let you know. Reporting live in Lawrenceville, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News on Pittsburgh CW.